in this class we'll discuss the examples of dot product let me take a vector as i cap plus j cap plus k cap let me take another vector b vector as 2 i cap plus j cap plus let me take 5 k cap now we have to find a cross b so a cross b would be nothing but we have to draw the matrix now we have to write i here j here and k here then what is the magnitude of a vector along i cap it is 1 what is the magnitude of a vector along j cap it is again 1 what is the magnitude of a vector along k cap which comes out to be again 1 in the same way for the b vector the magnitude along i cap is 2 the magnitude on j is 1 the magnitude along k cap is 5 now we have to solve this so my i cap would be 1 into 5 minus 1 which comes out to be 5 minus 1 minus j so 5 minus 2 plus k cap which comes out to be for k cap it is 1 minus 2 So let's calculate the resultant of this, which comes out to be four i minus three j minus k cap. So the resultant of a cross b in this case it comes out to be four i minus three j minus k cap. Now, if you observe, the resultant of a cross product is always a vectored quantity. while in case of dot product the result was a scalar quantity so keep as a note the result of a cross product will be always a vectored quantity while in case of dot product the answer would be always a scalar quantity